Hi, hello, welcome to the third lecture, to the third video lecture in the stream of teaching of international economics. Uh, so, once again, I remind that it is the stream of teaching or the video lecture addressed to students in two of uh, my separate groups uh, at the Andrzej Frecz Modrzewski University in Kraków. So, on the one hand, it is addressed to students of the first year in the master's curriculum in the course of product management in international business. And secondly, it is addressed to students in the course of international economic transactions in the second year of, uh, of master's studies at the Andrzej Frisch Modrzewski University. So, uh, today I want, in, or in this video, I want to develop on a case which sort of attracted my attention recently uh, on the rise of a whole field of digital technologies called cloud computing. Uh, the thing that initially attracted my attention was a short announcement at the investors relations site of IBM, these IBM, so inter uh, international business machines, and uh, IBM announced that they are splitting IBM into two separate businesses. And one of those businesses will be entirely focused precisely on the technologies of cloud computing. It is a big technological trend. And in that stream of teaching of international economics, at least in the winter semester of 2020 and 2021, uh, we are supposed to build your projects. When I say your, I address, of course, my students. So we are supposed to build your graduation projects around uh, business concepts for the development of digital technologies at the international scale. So here we have a case. Let's waltz. Here there is a slide which shows you a lot of links. Uh, so uh, as usually I want to be specific in the description box below the video, you can find the link uh, from which you can download the PowerPoint presentation that I am using in this video. And in the PowerPoint you have all those links so you can use them to your pleasure and leisure. Uh, you don't have to note them down. But let me magnify a little bit those small letters. So, and I will get smaller as those letters get bigger. So, there is a big technological change. Digital technologies drift into cloud computing. Uh, I start with the definition. Cloud computing essentially consists in processing really big data sets on really big servers. I return to that basic idea like two slides later when I will be talking about transforming that general trend into a business concept, but that's the general idea. Uh, so you have a lot of data on a big server and that data is sort of powered by artificial neural networks, so by artificial intelligence, to have like the most of that data. And if you want to have an idea of what is it exactly, you can go, for example, to the website of Microsoft Azure. Microsoft Azure is essentially the technological platform that Microsoft uses for cloud computing. If you go there, you can make yourself an idea. Another good idea is to visit the website of Okta, another company which is like very big on cloud computing. So we have a technological change. Uh, which is confirmed both by IBM and Microsoft and other companies. In a moment, in the next slide, I will show you a table, which is an excerpt from the latest annual report of Microsoft. 
and uh, you will see there what I am talking about. So here comes this table, maybe I will make it a little bit smaller for the moment. So this is data from the latest annual report of Microsoft. And uh, when I say the latest, um, I mean that Microsoft has a non-typical fiscal year in their accountancy. Uh, their fiscal year starts on July the 1st and ends on June the 30th. So on June the 30th, 2020, they closed their accounts for the fiscal year 2019-2020 and they published their annual report. Uh, the whole report, uh, which you can see like a short snapshot from here in that slide, the whole report is available either uh, at the source, so at the investor relations site of Microsoft, the link is here, or uh, you can download it directly from the archives of my blog, there is the link that you can use. And now I will magnify the table to discuss quickly what I am talking about here. So, as you can see, uh, Microsoft divides their business into three segments. Productivity and business processes for one, intelligent cloud for two, and more personal computing for three. Now, if you observe, for example, the revenue from those three segments, you can see that the revenue from Intelligent Cloud has been growing at the fastest pace. So, we have a big company whose revenue in a given segment grows at a particularly quick pace. And uh, according to a technique which I call business modeling, we can assume that this particular segment represents a quickly growing market. As you have a look at the operating income that Microsoft derives from those three segments, you can see that, uh, that operating incomes definitely grows faster than in any other of those segments with Microsoft. Now, we return here to the, like, the basics of microeconomics. If operating income in a given business grows at a particularly quick pace, it means that we have a growing margin of value added in that business. So we have a market that grows quickly, and in that quickly growing market, we have a quickly growing fork of value added. So it is like an invitation to go there and to try and think about new businesses. So when you, my students, you will be working on your business concept for international development of uh, digital technologies, I invite you to follow this particular rabbit hole. So think about something arranged as a digital cloud. Now to comment on that slide that you have in the video, uh, first of all, a general remark about something that you might not have been or might not be exactly aware of. If you use YouTube, if you use Netflix, if you use Facebook or Instagram, these are all digital clouds. This is data stored on a big server and there are algorithms of artificial intelligence which optimize the use of that data and the use of servers where you source that data from. Uh, so try to think at this phase, try to think like cavemen. Uh, so think about any field of social activity, any field of business, of entertainment, of social activism, where you have really big sets of data, like really big, which are being run on and through really big servers. And uh, you should use artificial intelligence 
to optimize the use of the data and those servers. And if you have a concept like that, so big data, big server, artificial intelligence, you have the outline of a business concept for a digital cloud, for the development and marketing of a digital cloud. And finally, the international aspect, because with all that thing about digital technologies, we are supposed to stay in the broadly spoken track of international economics. Cloud computing is an interesting case of international economics. Imagine that in one country you have particularly low costs of maintenance as regards big servers. For example, you have a negotiably low price of electricity, low cost of real estate where you need to locate those servers, low cost of infrastructure like fiber optic cables and so on. And in that country, you would install your servers, but the services of the digital cloud run on those servers will be needed most probably in other places, in places where you have really a lot of data and a lot of need for the data. Uh, and here in uh, the yellow print, you have a good example. Uh, you probably know or you can easily learn what are cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. They are based on a technology called the blockchain and the blockchain is an example of digital cloud. And uh, many people ignore the fact that in Europe most servers, almost all the servers that uh, support cryptocurrencies are located in Iceland, so in one of the tiniest countries of Europe, if you can count them as European at all, but well, let's say they are European. And uh, it is an interesting case where electricity and server power located in Iceland are literally exported to countries where the trade in cryptocurrencies is the most vivacious because that cloud, that digital cloud that supports cryptocurrencies is used in a different place than the place where the cloud is physically being maintained. Okay, so this was like a quick glimpse at what can you do in terms of generating your business concepts uh, in the development of digital technologies. So here you have a path which you or which I can uh, uh, which I like calling business modeling. When I asked myself a question where to find ideas for new business concepts for digital technologies, my first association was let's go and visit the investor relations sites of those big players like Microsoft and let's dig into their annual reports. And here it comes, an idea which is both workable and which is informative about a big market trend. Okay, so that would be all in that lecture. I hope you can still have fun with science and have fun with life. Bye.